Where you don't want to go? I don't want to go to the movies. Oh. That's kind of peculiar. All right, well, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Everyone else is still. Don't take care. All right. Now. Not so sure? Yeah. So you can, okay. Well, that's kind of this one. It's kind of peculiar, man. Yeah. All right. Hey, let's go, Sid. You don't want to sin, man? Come on, dudes. Hey, so we had day nine's reading uh, for the book, The Pursuit of a Christian. And so today's reading was about the peculiar life of a Christian. So the dictionary definition for peculiar is strange or odd. I like to say unique. And so as Christians, we have this unique or this different life within us, which sets us apart from non-Christians. And so as we've seen earlier, we touched on it a bit with the skit with Mario. And now the rest of the brothers will kind of expand upon it. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Uh, today I'd like to share my enjoyment from day nine of Pursuit of a Christian. And now one thing I really enjoyed from this section was that the, it compares worldly people as being in a tide, and that there's a tide associated with the worldly people there. They're all kind of just following. They're not. They're just going with the current. But as Christian, we're peculiar because we don't go along with that tide. You know, I just really enjoyed how it's a comparison that we can see we're peculiar because we are not going with that tide. And I'm sure you can see with the skip we did. Oh, hey, I almost didn't see you there. The portion I really enjoyed from today's reading was that uh, it's the life within us that determines the uh, the nature of. Uh, you know, like how we, how we choose to live our life and our behavior. So um, the, uh, the example that the reading gives is how a fish has a nature that allows it to swim in water but not to do things like fly. And so uh, in the way that we lead our lives whenever we're, uh, we're feeling a little strange because of the people around us and the people we choose to hang out with, it might not be because we're doing something wrong but just because the nature within us is, uh, is telling us to choose a different path. So amen, praise the Lord. Hey guys! Oh, there you are. Hey guys. Um, I wanted to share my portion of today's reading. So, I really like this line. Um, I'm going to read it to you right now. Everyone who believes in the Lord has his life, and this life has its nature. Its innate ability which causes him to be different from the unbelievers. So, when we take the Lord as our life, his life is dispensed into us. And so, when we're faced into situations in which other people you know, go a direction that seems worldly, well, we have the Lord in us that directs us differently, that goes against the tide. Hey guys, so I enjoyed that this life, this peculiar life that we have, that is the life of God, is a little different from how we used to be. When we were younger, maybe we liked to receive a lot of gifts, but now what makes our joyful is giving to others. That may seem very peculiar to the unbelievers that we like to give, but that's just because of the life within. It makes our joy so much fuller. Oh, hi there. All right, so today I'm gonna to talk about what my favorite enjoyment of today's reading was. And it was about how Christian's nature is to yield and not to resist. And he talked about it in Matthew 5, where he says, whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. And what I enjoyed the most about this part is that it tells us, and from my experience, you see that when you yield instead of resist, you become filled with joy. Bro, why didn't you ever want to do like bad things with us? Like, why are you so peculiar? I don't know. I, I guess it's because I'm a Christian. So, like, what does that mean? Bro, let me tell you something about the Lord. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with Him. 